what if i told you that interacting with blockchain could be as easy as using your favorite social media app no more confusing interfaces just smooth seamless experience and now that is where account abstraction comes in it is like upgrading from a flip phone to a smartphone so instead of managing every single detail whether it is managing your private keys confirming transaction and lots more account abstraction takes over automating the process so you can focus on what actually matters today we are going to be looking at account abstraction what it is how it can be used how it is currently being used and of course how it is going to change the landscape of things in web3 now before we jump in make sure to like this video because it's great it's a great video make sure to drop a comment telling me if you're excited to learn about account abstraction and of course subscribe and share this video with as many people as you can so what is account abstraction in simple terms account abstraction is a way to blend the ease of using regular accounts with the power of smart contracts right now on ethereum there are two types of accounts there is the externally owned account which is short for eoas and there is the smart contract accounts now eaos are traditional accounts that you control everything using your private key think about it as a stick shift car or a manual car where you're responsible for changing the gears when driving smart contract accounts on the other hand are programmable so they allow you set up automation and rules just like you would do with your smartphone you can set up tax on your smartphone you can automate some certain things on your smartphone now account abstraction merges these two together so that you can get the best of both worlds control and convenience so why do we need this right now using blockchain tech and feel intimidating especially for beginners so from managing private keys to paying um, fluctuating gas fees for every transaction even down to manually approving actions it feels like a lot and this is one of the biggest barriers stopping people from getting into web3 so um, account abstraction solves all of this problem it can automate paying gas fee in fact it can even allow someone else to pay gas fees for you so imagine you're playing a blockchain game right now you would have to approve every move and this can actually make your game a bit boring but with account abstraction all of this happens behind the scene automatically and you can just enjoy the gaming experience seamlessly so you see so how does account abstraction work at its core account abstraction literally turns your ethereum account into something very flexible so one of the cool features is gasless transactions with that you don't need to pay gas fee yourself instead a third party can actually pay gas for you or the dap that you're actually using can pay gas for you another one is programmability so you can even set rules like automatically removing small amounts of money from your wallet without you manually approving each time or let's say you run a dao or maybe a shared crypto account you can actually set up your account in a way that it automatically requires multiple signatures before a particular action is done so projects like starknet and dk sync are already using account abstraction in their platforms to make it more user friendly so they are building systems where their users do not have to bother about things like paying for gas or approving transactions so how does account abstraction actually work so let's talk about it step by step so instead of sending your transaction directly to ethereum you send something called a user operation to an alt meme pool for those who want to go a bit technical erc4337 is the backbone for account abstraction it introduces the concept of user operations 
which are sent to an alt mempool before being sent on chain to the main blockchain, which is in this case Ethereum. Now, this framework allows for programmable accounts like adding multi signature functionality or setting daily spending limits. So, in essence, it separates the signing and execution of a transaction. Instead of signing the transaction directly and paying for gas, you sign a user operation which contains all the transaction details and it gets sent to an alt meme pool. This is where it gets interesting. The alt meme pool actually validates your transaction and sends it to Ethereum on your behalf. They are responsible for paying for gas fees. That is why you can now have gasless transactions in your dApps. So let me just break it down into step by step. Step one is user operation. Now, this is where you still prepare your transactions as usual, but now you add a little bit of customization. It could be account recovery or it could be automated gas payment. Now, after that is done, instead of going straight to the blockchain, the transaction is being sent to an alt mempool. Now, an alt mempool is basically a group of off chain nodes. Next, these nodes check your transactions to ensure that they are valid. And after that, the alt mempool submit the validated transaction to the Ethereum blockchain paying gas fee on your behalf. I hope this is clear now. Now, all of these things happen behind the scene, making your own experience seamless on the user side. Now, this architecture is what makes gasless transactions and social recovery possible, opening up a lot of possibilities in Web3. Now, why is account abstraction important? It simplifies blockchain technology to a level where anybody can use it, whether you are a developer or a blockchain enthusiast. So imagine using a DeFi application where you don't have to worry about gas fee, you don't have to worry about signing transaction, everything is just seamless. That's a better experience for beginners and it's also a better experience for experienced crypto users. Now, this is actually huge for industries like the gaming industry, DeFi and even public sector because it makes using blockchain the same as using your favorite apps. Nothing new, the same experience. Now, looking ahead, the future of account abstraction is actually exciting. As more layer 2 solutions like StackNet and ZKC continue to adopt this technology, very soon, every blockchain application is going to be very regular, like what we currently have in Web2. And that is also exciting for developers because as a developer, now is the perfect time to start building applications that leverage account abstraction because these features create a seamless experience for users. Now, let's talk about um, how real projects use account abstraction. Um, a good example is the Agent Wallet. Agent Wallet uses um, account abstraction to create a wallet with social recovery feature. If you lose your wallet, you don't have to worry about losing your private key. Another example is Biconomy. Biconomy uses account abstraction for gasless transactions. So imagine um, applications that are built and do not require you paying for gas fees. Now the applications themselves cover the gas fees using Biconomy. Biconomy just makes everything. Cool. Now, ZK Sync is another platform that uses account abstraction. They allow users to bundle multiple transactions as one, putting down greatly on gas fees and simplifying interactions. Other practical ways that account abstraction can be used includes number one, it can be used to set up daily transaction limits to prevent unauthorized access. Now, this is very useful for security. Number two, it can be used to bundle multiple transactions into a single transaction, cutting down on gas costs. Number three, account recovery. In a situation whereby you lose your account, all hope is not lost because account abstraction gives you recovery options. Number four, automated payments. So you are able to set up recurring payments such as rent, payment of fees, for example. And then number five, multi-signature transactions. So if you're a business, you are able to require multiple signatures. This is very good for DAOs or shared wallets. So these are the kind of features that account abstraction makes available. And it just makes the whole blockchain experience seamless and more user-friendly than what we currently have. So in a nutshell, 
Account abstraction is like having a personal assistant for your blockchain account, automating the tricky stuff and making it easier for everyone to use. If you found this video helpful, do well to leave a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, drop a comment telling me what you learned and of course subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and bye!